Hey everybody, this is Greg with Year of the Dad Gaming. Today we're going to talk about storage and the different types of chest that you have available right now. So in Craftopia, um, you'll collect a lot of things, so you're going to need lots of storage. And as you progress through the ages, you'll have access to get better and better and better storage that'll hold more items and be stronger than the previous generation. So I'm going to kind of quickly show you the different types of storage, how to build them, and then how much they each one will store. So if you go to your workbench, and I'm on the highest level age, so if you don't see some of these items, you probably just need to go up and advance an age and you'll be able to see them. So you have just your standard chest. You get this early on. doesn't take a lot. Uh, just some stone, log, copper ingots. The steel chest, a little bit more durable, a little more space, uh, some steel ingots and log. The cemented carbide chest, takes some steel ingot, titanium, diamond, and heated mineral. A lot more storage, a lot sturdier. And then right now, the largest capacity is a super diamond chest. Diamond ingot, obsidian ingot, chemicals, rare metal. And then you have your cloud storage. This is a little bit different, doesn't hold as much. Uh, you can actually expand this storage uh, by going to Anubis. But this storage is good, and I'll kind of show a little bit how that works. And then you have your container, which is really just a, uh, a bigger storage chest that has a conveyor belt. You can use this on automations to help collect things. And then the large capacity container, which is just the version. Uh, I've actually seen both the container and large capacity containers uh, are, you can buy these from merchants. The other storage uh, units, I haven't seen anywhere we can buy those. Usually you have to craft those, but you can purchase these uh, if, if you're looking for them. All right, so we'll start with the chest. Just hold your standard eight. Um, if you're new to the game, uh, to transfer stuff, you just hit uh, X transfer it over or you can go over to your um, go over to your chest and hit X to move it back and then you can also go do take all and then next is the steel chest holds 24 so holds three times as much as the chest I like using the steel chest uh, there's it's low cost they're pretty durable I've never seen one break of course, I usually don't set up around uh, mobs that will break them, but uh, they're pretty pretty handy. I like using these. You know, just some steel ingots and some log is all you need. And then next, you've got the cemented carbide chest. It takes 32, so you get another eight out of that. And then, of course, the biggest, which holds 48, is the super diamond chest. And then you have the cloud storage, and we'll come back to that. Uh, for the automation chest, you've got just your standard container, hold 16, because um, it has a conveyor belt on it. You can use this to collect items. And then you have the large capacity version. Uh, it holds 32, um, but both of these take up a lot of space. You can actually just put absorbers on these other chests and kind of get the same functionality and not take up quite as much space. You can see how huge these are compared to the normal chest here. So the cloud storage is a little different. You can only have one of these. Um, you can have multiple of them, but basically they're all interconnected. So no matter what I store here, if I have another one, I can access it on another island. Um, but the best way to use these is to actually increase your own inventory. So I can store all this meat here. Let's throw some eggs in here. And the squid. And then I will pick this up. Now, you notice that if I put, let's just say I'm going to put some water in this chest. I can't pick it up. 
it has stuff inside it, so it won't let me pick it up. But I, I was able to pick up that cloud chest. So you see, I've got the cloud storage. Um, and I'll go over here. And I will place this. Open it back up. Everything's still there. So basically, I can expand my inventory uh, all that much more than what the cloud storage will allow me to hold. Now, I've got 21 slots because I've used Slates of Evolution to increase my storage. And there's, uh, I believe there's Quest also that can help increase your cloud storage. So you can kind of use this as portable storage. Um, I've seen people use these for the NPC quest. So when you get uh, those hard to find items that you want to turn into NPCs, since they're kind of random, you may want to keep those things in a cloud storage and then keep that on you at all times. And that way, when you find an NPC, you get the quest you want. You deploy your cloud storage, get out what you need, and then turn in the quest. Um, that makes a lot of sense to do that because um, that way you're only occupying one inventory slot for a bunch of items that you will never ever need except for when you're turning an NPC quest. Um, but it's really handy. The Cloud Storage is handy for that just to kind of increase your inventory. But the rest of these, all these four and the two big ones, if they have anything inside of them, they cannot be picked up. In order to pick these up or destroy them, you actually have to empty them out first. So the cloud storage could also be good for, um, you know, transferring things. So maybe you've got a steel chest, but you want to upgrade to a carbide chest. Um, you know, you just want to replace it in line. So you may transfer it to your cloud storage, uh, pick up the steel chest, place down your carbide chest, and then you can upgrade it. So that's all there is to know about storage. Um, if you've got any questions about storage or even about anything in the game uh, just drop us a comment we'll try to answer it there's something that i haven't covered uh to date and you say hey could you please cover this i just don't understand how this works um, or something you want to see i'll try to cover it so just drop us a comment and let us know um, as always give us a like if you found this helpful and if you find the channel helpful uh, please do us a favor and subscribe and we also uh, have a lot more details on uh, our website, fantasyroleplayinggames.com. Uh, we try to post some articles there, uh, helpful tips. We link the videos, uh, kind of give you a visual, you know, see how it's done and, and word by word. Um, so if you want to, you know, head over there and take us and check us out, we appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.